principal overview what you expect this upcoming season? Well, what other people expected, we lost two D1s in a junior college. They expect us to be bad, but I've got good news for them. That we're going to be real competitive this year. Brenda Martin, our senior, I think we had the best leadership I've ever had. Brenda Martin went from averaging four points a game last year. And good Lord willing, we'll, he'll commit to Air Force Academy, another Division I player, which is four in three years. So we hope that happens tonight. And Justin McCall is right there on the cusp. And Landon Williams our, is our other senior. So we got three players, I think, will sign. Then Javon. Alexander, who leads the show, he's point guard, and Melvin Webb's right there getting a lot of college attention. So I'm excited about this team. We, this is the hardest I, my team has ever worked. We're putting in more hours than, uh, than I've ever put in. And we always want to be competitive in losing that type of talent and these guys to step up and go from averaging four points a game to a Division One player. You know, that just brights my day and lights my heart up that uh, we can help these young men reach their potential. All right, you guys lost a lot of star power last year, but uh, how do you think uh, the chemistry is going to be this year? I think this year, that's one thing we really, this one, one thing Coach has really told us to get closer as a team, it'll help us at the end. And I think our chemistry will be really good. We're getting closer every day as a team, working hard, being in the weight room, working hard, you know, building stuff like that, and we're hanging outside of school, so the chemistry should be good. All right, uh, coming into the year, what are you looking forward to the most? Uh, just to compete with my guys and uh, play with them, and just ready to compete. Uh, let's talk about uh, let's go ahead and jump to the end. How good can this team be this year? Man, we can we can go all the way, man. We got it. We got it in us. Just if we stick together, like all my guys have been saying, it's just off the court stuff, on the court stuff. We stick together, we got it. What is it going to take to win your area tournament? It's going to take sticking together, like I just said. We got all the skills we need. We got everything we need. It's just coming together, playing together. And what adjustments have you made from last year to this year with these new guys? Well, that's a great question. I, the main thing, like I said, the, the hard work, we hired two young coaches, uh, Caleb Wright and, and Coach King. Uh, Caleb Wright was at Spartan Middle, and uh, Coach King was at Lincoln County, and I think the JV team. And they brought some, some excitement, and our kids have really bonded with them. Both of them got really good exit on minds and uh, so we're adding new school to old school and it's going to be exciting to see what we can do with this. And uh, Coach, talk about Justin the ball and how he's uh, more he, he was a he was a guy that was a role player for you, did whatever you needed to do, kind of a lunch pail guy, but now he's going to be kind of stepping to the forefront with Brendan and leading your team. Well it's always tough to be a bridesmaid and you have to you know be the bride and, and We've had a great summer, and he's, he's starting to understand. I'm a really good player, and I think he, I think he can be a D1 player before this thing said and done. People's overlooking our players, and but now they're starting to come in here. A lot of colleges are coming in here and ask about our players, and so Just McCall is a beast. I mean, he's benching 270 pounds, and his work ethic has really been great. Brendan Martin, Just McCall, for Carter Need. Any two players I've had in 15 years. Have you seen your game and your teammates' game improve in the offseason? Oh, yes, sir. This season, we really focus on shooting threes. Shooting threes, playing transition, being being in shape. So, it really, we really we're ready for this year. So, the coach is talking about the system. Is it, I know he's had a particular one he's coached for so many years, but are you guys stylistic? Are you going to be a little bit different? And this year, uh, I like to say it'll be slightly different than last year because last year we tried to use our muscle, but we're going to use our muscle this year also, but we're going to be able to get it out faster, quicker, take smarter sides, and just play off IQ. Talk a little bit about team chemistry. Uh, how's that going? Uh, I think it's going really good. Uh, like how Justin said, I think we were a good team last year, but we had a lot of clicks, and this year we're trying to hang out with each other more and incorporate everyone, because uh, to be a good team, you're as strong as your weakest link, so I think we all have to be on the same page. How good can this team be? Oh, I think we can be really good. I think we can be better than last year's team because of our chemistry and playing together and faster pace and knowing each other's weaknesses and strengths. How has your role expanded on this team? Yeah, so I'm I'm done a lot doing a lot more than I have. I'm taking more of a scoring position now and 
Last year I was more, we had all the guys and I was just more focused on the dirty work. And I'm still focused on the dirty work. I just got to take up more scoring. They talk about your leadership ability. Coach was talking about it here as good leaders and Zag. How have you tried to lead this group and how did you grow in that, in that role from the summer to look forward? Yes, sir. Yeah, so I'm more, I'm, I'm kind of a vocal leader, but I'm more of like my action show. I just want to show the guys, like, if you work hard, we all got it. And it's, it's hard being a leader because you got to do the dirty work, like I said. You got to do everything, but I love it. I want to take it. So looking back when the season's over, what's a successful year going to look like for Chris? After the season's over, well, I always expect to be state champion. You know, that's just in my DNA, and, and, and we're getting there. I, we would have won it last year, but uh, we had a bad break there. We beat Hoover 14 on a neutral floor. I think this team here has got a shot. I mean, with, with the offense that we're running and as much time they're putting in shooting, I think we got a great shot because defensively, we're going to travel with defense, and our offense has really picked up since we brought up these other two young coaches in. So I'm ex really excited about this year.